Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Nameless, the one you must- the one thing you must recall. Um, I don't know what to say other than let's start. Okay, so we're back from school. I'm back! I came in the house saying hi lifelessly. Oh, I said it more cheerfully. Oops. And heard someone energetically shout back. Oh, you're here early! Red was munching on something on the sofa. I noticed the snack wrappers on his hands. Don't you mean in his hands? What's with the snack? Someone in my class gave it to me. It's chocolate flavored and it's really good. Wanna try some? No, I'm not really hungry. Just from a glance, I could tell it was something expensive from abroad. To give something like that, does that girl have a crush on Red? Where's Yellow? He has cleaning duties today. Red focused his attention back to the TV as usual. The person who greets me when I come home often changes. If everyone came back home together, we'd arrive at the same time, but Lance insists on coming back alone. And I'm avoiding leaving school with Yunho so no one takes it the wrong way. <sighs> what? Did something happen? No. I saw Red sitting in front of the TV turn around and look at me. I smiled back. Now when I come home after school, I don't feel so empty. Because I have the dolls. Now when I open the door, someone's waiting for me. Although it's only been a couple weeks since they became human, I seem to be used to it. Today passed without much trouble. The more I think about that name Hot Five Zoe told me, the lamer it seems. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. I've told Zoe and Shinbi that the principal asked me to look over them, but I'm worried that they won't continue to buy that story. Zoe and Shinbi are the first people I've connected with after entering the academy, but still, I haven't told them about my personal life, including my hobby. See, and I don't even know how long you two have been, you three have been friends, but it seems like a long enough time where you should be telling them about your personal life and your hobby. So, again, not really close with your friends. Am I doing the right thing? No, not not really. I glance up and see the shelf. The dolls stand there in line as usual. These dolls are a huge part of me, but I can't talk about them easily. Let's stop having gloomy thoughts. Won't there come a day when I can tell the truth? There will come a day when I become confident of myself and want to show my true self to my friends. When that day comes, wouldn't it be easy for me to tell them? I stare at the eyes silently looking at me and think, Hot five, hot five. <laughs> Even while having bad thoughts, when I think of that name, I can't help but laugh. I ended up laughing for some time in the empty room. Oh. I was kind of hoping we'd have that dream again, except having something else happen with it, so that we could get more of an idea as to what the fuck happened when it came to the dolls, but I guess not. As usual, Tay was cooking and everyone else, including me, was having breakfast. It seems Yuri will never come out of that bed bathroom. Obviously, he's drying his hair or pressing or praising his looks reflected his looks reflected on the mirror. Oh gosh, why was that hard to say? I smell something sweet in this steaming mug. It's some kind of tea with a good scent. What kind of tea is this? It's made in ban Oh, it's made in banjo. Oh, right. I'll drop by the cafe today. Oh, will you? I've never been to the place Tay works at. I asked Zoe and Shinbi to go, but Shinbi was too busy. Should I have just told Zoe it's the cafe Tay works at? Then Zoe would have headed to the cafe before school even finished. It smells good. What is this tea called? Congo Bongo. It's the best-selling tea. He smiled softly like the scent of the tea. I felt calmer after drinking the warm tea. Ah, uh, I never thought I could feel this calm in the morning. My honey, there's nothing about those sweet tea leaves to love. Yuri interrupted my piece like the devil. And now, have this. He put something on the table. This! It's a new phone. <gasps> oh, right! I remember seeing screenshots of texting with the dolls! It's the latest smartphone. It's called Universe G. Universe G? It sounds like some villain's hair. Or lair. Aren't you amazed by my sensibility? Now this is what a true gentleman does. Yuri ignored Red's comment and sleekly combed his hair back. The smooth surface and white frame sparkled. Wow, I saw the ad for this on TV. 
I didn't remember the name, but I remembered the ad. This is my gift full of love for my honey. What? Use this and become a smart, sensible woman. What? what do you mean? This smartphone is for me? Um... Um... Personally, I'd just say thanks. Not, I can't take it, so... I'll just say thanks? The thanks. I felt iffy for taking such an expensive gift, but I first needed to say thank you. I remember Grandpa always used to remind me I shouldn't take such gifts lightly. <laughs> I feel proud seeing my honey like it. I still feel iffy. Blah, 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 blah. I still feel iffy. Wow, I said I said that in a weird way twice. <laughs> Whatever. But should I try using it? Then I have one condition. A condition? Ugh, my honey's picky. I do find that quite attractive, though. I'll use it if you promise to buy smartphones for the rest of the boys. Why should I spend my money on other men? <laughs> that face is terrifying! Oh my god! It's like... Oh my god, he looks like he's about to kill somebody or go on some sort of rampage! Oh my god, that's really scary! <laughs> Not as bad as that fucking severed head from Sound of Drop, but that's still really freaky. <laughs> Never mind if you don't want to. Here, take it. I won't take the gift. I'm happy with the one I'm using anyways. <laughs> Yuri thought seriously for a moment. I do not want to receive anything from that insect. Lance laid down his spoon and spoke. But if everyone has smartphones, wouldn't it be more comfortable? We can stay in contact. If Yuri wants to spend money, shouldn't we help Lance? Lance didn't say anything. I want one. Everyone in my class keeps on asking for my number. I was sorry I couldn't tell them. Yeah, and if we have smartphones, we can video chat. Wow, so so I can look at my master's face. What? We can talk on the phone while seeing other, our friends' faces? Red suddenly stopped eating and stood up. I thought he was too busy eating, but he must have been listening the whole time. Friends. Well, yeah, that's how it goes. Then I want one. I'd be able to communicate constantly with Yellow and the Commander. Then we can use that smartphone thingy to have strategy meetings. We'll be as... We'll be as ten times strong. Ten times as strong. Oh! We'll be as ten times as strong. That... That still said doesn't sound right. Whatever. I guess... I guess so. <laughs> I nodded and pretended to agree with overly excited Red. Since everyone has to agree in order to get the smartphones. Hmm, these poor souls getting left behind civilization. It won't be so bad for me to help. <laughs> I've learned to ignore Yuri's such words. Alright, I get it, if everyone wants one. I have never said I wanted one. I will do my best to help. Now, do you feel brave enough to use this smartphone? Yuri cut Lance's words and stared at me. Well, if you're willing, thanks. <laughs> Good. Now let's get a cab and go to school, darling. I don't want to. Yuri's been trying to convince me to go to school with him. I'm already used to his tricks. Yuri seemed confused at me refusing right away. Ugh, my honey is so stubborn. Why is that? Because you're dangerous. Yeah, I don't like it too. Going to school with that pervert. I would feel bad for anyone who has to deal with that. I'd rather you go, go with me. All five said something. Yep, you heard. That's why. <laughs> his fucking face again. I can't... What's with this? Like, why are his eyelashes so big and, his, and sparkly? Like, are those eyelashes or is those his eyes? I can't... I cannot tell what that is. Are all my haters gathered here? Well, I know haters are fans, too, in the end. Well, you wanted a reason, so I gave it to you. To be honest, it wasn't because I didn't like Yuri. It was because I felt bad for going to school comfortably without the rest of the boys. It's because I'm the only one who goes to school comfortably. I'd say yes if we could take the cab all together. Sometimes the bus is so hellish I want to go by myself, but I would never forgive myself for taking the easy road home. Road alone. Why are you so obsessed with that altogether? My honey is so clueless about romance. If you're picky like that, you miss good opportunities like this. Yuri leaned his head forward. At, 
As Yuri's face approached mine, his face filled my sight. Looking at him from up close, I realized yet again how handsome he is. Yeah, he's not bad looking, it's just he also seems really questionable. I would prefer to miss such chances. Lance grabbed his bag and said without a single glance towards Yuri. Thanks to Lance, I came to my senses and stopped staring blankly at Yuri's face. Thanks, Lance. I almost just stood there staring at Yuri's face like a fool. Lance ignored me and went out of the living room. I heard Yuri tisking right in front of me. At Tay's words from the living room, I gathered myself and looked. I saw Tay, Red, and Yeon Ho all putting their shoes on at the front door. Tay stood in front of the open door and looked at me. Dude, don't clean. What? What? D don't lean in close like that. You scared me. I have to go to the academy now. As I tried to reason with him, Yuri backed off and made a mysterious face. And then he put his hand on his head like he was tired. You are quite the complicated woman. I ignored Yuri's mumbling and went towards Tay, who was waiting. <laughs> yes. This is the thigh bone, and this is the shin bone. FYI, the thigh bone is the most beautiful when you view it by a window when the sun is setting at around five or six. On the contrary, the shin bone is most beautiful when you look at it while drinking coffee in the morning. Write this down, and not the other useless things. I felt this during music class, but don't you think our academy chooses strange teachers? Yeah, I agree. Although at science class, our school nurse, Mr. Yujin, was teaching. It was because he was especially asked to give a special lecture on the mysterious human body for today. I wondered what made our science teacher ask Mr. Yujin to teach. Well, considering the lecture topic, Mr. Yujin might have volunteered. This isn't going to be on the exam, is it? And this, the cute slender ankle bone. This is the proximal... F proximal phalanax. And this guy's... Mr. Yujin, we've heard enough. Please... What? Oh. Mr. Eugen, we've heard enough praise about the bones. Don't you have anything more interesting? I've already heard this so much from you, I can probably guess where the bones are with my eyes closed. Zoe, who once had a crush on Mr. Eugen and planned her honeymoon with him, raised her hand and spoke. After speaking, she plopped down on the desk in the bo- She plopped down on the desk in boredom? On the desk, as in, like, her butt on the desk. Weird, but okay. That's right, Mr. Yujin! Talk about something else! Something else! Yeah, I've heard it every time I went to the infirmary. I know the human body now. <laughs> he looks kind of mad. Mr. Yujin's expression fell more and more. Is it because he can't talk about the bones he loves so much? I feel more nervous the sadder he looks. I didn't realize how eager you all are to learn something new. Alright. But the way he's holding that scalpel and the way that that looks, it looks bad. From now on, we will apply the knowledge we already know and actually dissect something. You all know what dissecting is, right? There are some kids that never wake up from the dissection, but that's only about 10%, so no need to worry. At that moment, the whole class froze. M mr Yujin, now that I think about it, there's still so much more to learn about bones. I, I, I need to learn more theory. Me, me too, Mr. Yujin. Now that I think about it, I only know the upper human body. <laughs> the path to enlightenment is a long and hard one. <laughs> no need to refuse. They say it's better to experience once than listen a hundred times. So let's see, who should we use? Everyone turned pale and turned down the dissection. Hmm, since there's around 30 people in this class, does it mean at least three are passing over to the other side? After figuring out the stats, I had to shake my head at the creepy numbers. I turned around to find Yunho next to me, pale as a ghost, looking at me. If if I'm chosen, don't be so sad. Oh, he's got tears in his eyes. The cookie I hid on top of the shelf. Take it. Ugh. He said it as if he was just about to go into war. <laughs> Anyways, a cookie on top of the shelf? I better look for it when I get home. Let's see. It has to be someone with very pretty bones. Hmm. Mr. Eugen's gaze stopped at Lance. Oh, are you the new transfer student? Hmm, if I had known you were this high quality, I would have paid more attention to you. Mr. Eugen looked at Glance and... <laughs> Glance? Why did I say Glance? <laughs> looked at Lance and smacked his lips. Oh, no, 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 that's not okay. At hearing high quality, I felt a prick at my conscience. Hmm, hmm, 
good. Both left and right are perfect, and the symmetry is quite nice. Mr. Eugene picked at Lance's face and kept on nodding. It's perfect. You will be a very beautiful sample. My heart is already pounding. Mr. Eugene's voice was rising with excitement. Oh, the more I look, the more I see the beauty. How are you born with such perfect bones? No need to even mention the ribs, and even the sacrum is perfect. I don't know what sacrum is, but that sounds really guttery. Like, really gutter mind guttery. Are you even human? You are too perfect to be human. You're like a doll, God crafted with his own hands with all his might. Ah! I was suddenly startled from what Mr. Eugene said. Hey, you over there, come up front. Feel honored that I'm in great condition today. Days like this don't come often. Today I'll have one of the top three dissecting experiences of my life. Ugh. I obviously refute. M Mr. Yujin, I have a request! Zoe raised her hand in a flash. What does she mean by a request? No way, is she trying to save Lance? I thought that maybe in a long time, no... I thought that maybe in a long time, no, for the first time, we'll see Zoe act like a true class president. A request? What is it? You've just said that Lance's ribs and sacrum are beautiful. Yes, I did. You are talking about bones, right? Of course. But Lance is wearing his uniform. What's that got to do with anything? That means you can see beneath the uniform and see his bones. In short, you can see through things. So I have a request. Share your eyes with me, or please pass on the secret. I want to see too. What? I thought the cut line for our academy was pretty high. It is. Well, I feel like that's been changed nowadays. I actually agree. Hey you, why aren't you coming up? Mr. Eugene ignored Zoe's words. His eyes were still persistently sparkling towards Lance. Mr. Yujin, wait! When Zoe was about to say something again, the seat next to me shook. Uh, I will. You- <laughs> Oh, poor little Yunho, no! Not my poor innocent Yunho! Yunho suddenly stood up. I will do it instead. <laughs> oh, he's got tears in his eyes. So, don't torture my friend, Lance. Please? <laughs> no, Yinho, don't volunteer, it's dangerous! Yellow chick. I can't watch this without crying! Mr. Yujin strode towards Yunho and stood in front of him. You have thin bones. Are you still going through puberty? But the figure's there. The balance is good, too. This is quite interesting, too. I almost want you as a sample. I want those bones over there, but yours aren't bad, either. His eyes looked crazed. No, you have a rare charm. One of you is definitely going to be my specimen today. <laughs> I haven't had such a happy worry in ages. His glasses genuinely sparkled. In if both refused, he would drag one of them away. Lance and Yunho would be in danger if I stay still. What do I do? Uh, volunteer for the experiment? Um, I stood up without realizing... I couldn't let harm get its way to these boys who haven't been human for long. As the owner, I decided to volunteer. I- I volunteer. Oh? M- 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 Yunho looked like he was dying to cry out, Master. You've always seen me handle your tools well, so won't my bones be healthy? Not you. Why? If you don't wake up, we'll be in trouble. Wake up. This year, a new interesting skeleton model will be delivered from another area, and I plan to have you count the rib bones. To sum up, he couldn't kill me because he had to use me. I guess I was that kind of a student to him. Th then I would like to hear about that interesting skeleton model. Mr. Yujin's eyes sparkled. What type is the new skeleton model? If you really want to know, I'll explain. Compared to my Beatrice, it's fourth lumbar vertebrae. I succeeded in distracting him. Mr. Yujin was infatuated with describing the new model called Mr. Huang as the nickname. One chapter is ended. Would you like to save? Sure, except I'll save it over here. Banjul. Isn't that the name of the shop? When the bell rang, around half the class was dozing off. Ugh, school's finished. It was such a long day. 
If we go through this kind of class again, my lifespan might be considerably shortened. Why are you so lifeless? Zoe shook me. Even after all that fuss, Zoe doesn't seem tired at all. On the contrary, she looked more energetic than before. What was the cafe called? Oh, right. I almost forgot I was supposed to go to the cafe Tay works at. No wonder Zoe was so lively. I didn't tell her that Tay worked there, but she must have been in <laughs> Excuse me. But she must have been instinctively interested. It's called Banjul. Banjul? Banjul. I rolled my tongue and pronounced it. I can't tell the difference here, so... Mm. She'll be so surprised to see Tay there. I was kind of excited to think about surprising them. What's with that name? Banjul. Ju. Jewel. So we... Zoe rolled her short tongue and made weird noises. It's near here. There, I see the sign. Shinbi raised her head. At the end of her gaze was a sign that spelled Banjul in clean black letters. What? It's written in English. Banjul or Jal or Banjul. Aren't they the same thing? Zoe looked cute still trying to pronounce it weird. Yeah, call it however you want. It's quite a cool name. Should we go in? We opened the glass door and headed up to the third floor. Ooh, it's so pretty in there. Oh my god! I blocked my ears from hearing Zoe shriek as soon as, we, as soon as we entered. Surprised, I hesitated to walk in and stood in front of the entrance, but Zoe, who was the one screaming, ran straight into the cafe. Tay! Oh my goodness, he looks attractive again. Oh, dear. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, you came. Tay smiled softly. It wasn't his business smile. It was the smile Tay always gave me at home. But Zoe isn't used to that smile, so she'll probably faint when she sees it. I was about to warn Tay, but Zoe was quiet for some reason. Hello, Tay. My name is Zoe. I'm a freshman at your academy. I thought she'd freak out, but she was suddenly politely introducing herself. What? It was so unlike the usual, Zoe. Nice to meet you. This is... I'm Shinbi. Oh, okay. I'm Tay. Hmm. Uh, how do you know her? Oh, we've already heard. The principal told her to look out for you guys. I'm in her class, and we're best friends. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Zoe relaxed her mouth. Out of all the time I knew Zoe, I never saw her this happy. I have never seen Zoe be like this ever since I knew her. And the way she talks or moves was so gentle and careful. I thought I was looking at a stranger. All right, nice to meet you too. Shinbi, you too. But those clothes. I point at Tay's clothes. Yeah, I have to wear these when I work. It looks so good on you. Thanks. Since when have you worked here, Tay? Oh, that's... At that moment, we heard someone in the kitchen calling Tay. He seemed to be busy. Oh no, I have to go work. Hope you guys have a good time here. FYI, Tay's special is candied lemon tea. We just finished marinating the lemons today. Tay waved and disappeared into the kitchen. Oh my god! Even a uniform looks like a luxurious suit on Tay! As soon as Tay disappeared, Zoe started to make a fuss. Uh, miss, if it's okay, can I show you to your seats? We were standing right in front of the entrance when the waiter behind us called. I felt bad for interrupting their business and turned around. Oh, he's so cute! His dark blue hair and those light brown eyes. That's green. That looks more yellow. Like, it's a brown, but it's like a brownish yellow. But that's not blue, that's green. I was instantly drawn to him without realizing. He's so cute. Is he a boy? He seems to be a waiter looking like at that uniform. I definitely see he's a hot guy. Um, uh, I don't know about hot, I'd say average on the anime boy scale, but mm -hmm. I suddenly remembered Yunho at the house. I was surprised to find an actual person who resembled Yunho. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess he kind of does. Those pretty eyes looked like a doll's. Welcome, I'm Zeon, your waiter for today. Excuse me, but how many are with you? We'll come! We'll come again tomorrow! Excuse me? 
We will come here every day. No, until the day the world ends, I will come to Benjul. Benjul is such a warm and nice place. The name's fantastic, too. She must have secretly oiled her stiff tongue. So he shouted Banjul with the exact pronunciation. Um, uh, miss? Seeing Zoe's eyes, I could tell she's already freaking out. It's Zoe's strength and weakness to fiercely pursue something she likes. From tomorrow, she'll say she'll eat cakes and tea leaves for her meals until she dies. It's three. Show us our seats, please. Shinbi opened her mouth to settle the situation. Oh, uh, alright. Follow me. The waiter showed us to a table with comfy armchairs. All the decorations looked incredibly old. After looking at all the decorations, I saw the whole view of the cafe. The cafe was decorated with antique furniture and felt elegant but welcoming. The furniture was old like those grandfather left me. The spoons on the wall and harmony of the furniture felt odd but strangely, strangely comforting. And among all, what really caught my eye was a harp. I looked around to find small and big harps placed here and there. It was amazing to see such expensive instruments in a cafe. Here's the menu. I turned my eyes to the menu after hearing the waiter's voice. Please call me when you've decided what to order. When the waiter was about to turn around, Zoe abruptly grabbed his clothes. What's the best thing on the menu? She was stalling to spend as much time as she could with the hot boy. Yes? Oh, uh, everything's good. We check the freshness of our ingredients every day, so everything is top quality. You are the fresh new face of my life. I'll have this drink. Shinbi ordered, cutting Zoe off right at the right time. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> I want to order the drink Tay recommended to us. I'll have a candied lemon tea. And you, miss? I'll so- Oh, what? Holy shit, that's really suggestive. <laughs> More than suggestive, that's just... That's going on sexual harassment. Damn! I have to say that. Oh, no. I'll swallow anything you recommend to me. Then, oh, how about this? It's called Z... It's called Z-Z-Z. Okay. If you drink this, you'll sleep well. <laughs> I laughed at his percep perceptive recommendation. I guess he has quite a personality unlike his innocent face. Yeah. Five?! Dear Lord, Zoe. I'll have five of those! What? Five? Blinded by the hot boy in front of her, Zoe started to be irrational. I have no idea whether she'll be able to drink all five cups. Zeon asked her again, but Zoe was determined. Zeon eventually left the table, all confused. This cafe seems pretty nice. Did the manager organize everything? Isn't it? I thought my heart was going to stop just then. I have no idea who the manager is, but he has quite an eye for cute boys! Zoe seemed to not realize that Shinbi was talking about the decorations. It was then. A man approached the table beside us. Seeing his clothes, he seemed to work here. Miss, can I excuse you for a moment? What? I hear a deep voice ringing. I looked up to find a man almost as tall as Yuri. Oh my god, my type again! Oh, hello, but you are... Oh, huh. okay. I'm Humbin, the manager of this cafe. I apologize for interrupting when you've been resting. No, it's fine. But has something happened? Oh, I noticed something odd when I was registering your order. I think our waiter has made a mistake. A mistake? There must have been a misunderstanding. It's written here that you've ordered five cups of Z. Oh, it's right. The waiter and now the manager. This cafe is full of hot guys. Now that I think about it, Tay works here too. This cafe is going to be called the Hot Guys Cafe pretty soon. Excuse me? Oh, it's nothing. There's no mistake with our orders, so you don't have to worry. Right, Zoe? Yes, I'm drinking as much as I want today. I think she's confused tea with alcohol. She seems to have completely forgotten that you get sleepy if you drink that. Oh, alright. I apologize. I hope I wasn't. The manager was about to head off when the waiter for our table came running towards us. Ah, oh, Mr. Hobbin, why are you here? I told you, I didn't make a mistake this time. The waiter pulled the manager's arm and pouted. He was so cute that I laughed without knowing. You have a history, so I can't trust you. I had to eat leftover cake for dinner that day because of you. I told you to take it off of my paycheck, but you said it was fine. And how many times have you reminded me that? Such a cheap shot. Anyways, hurry. The kitchen's going crazy looking for you. Alright, I get, I get it, so let go. 
Then, Mrs., I hope you have a good time. Zeon and the manager nodded and headed to the kitchen. Ah, oh, I can totally tell the manager likes cute boys. The manager here seems to only hire cute guys. I want to live in this cafe for the rest of my life. Oh, next time, why don't we bring other members of the Hot Five? Zoe poked me in the rib and said, Ouch, why are you poking me? You're close with the Hot Five. Next time, ask me to come with us. Next time, ask them to come with us. Sh should I? I think of Lance, Yunho, and Red at Zoe's words. Since Yuri's a teacher, I should ignore him. First, Lance will definitely reject me. Won't he say it's tiresome and refuse? And Yunho will probably come with us. Thank you for waiting. Here are your drinks. Five teacups filled the soy side of the table. I reached out to the lemon tea Tay recommended. After a sip, I felt the sweet lemon scent spread in my mouth. Wow, this tastes amazing! I exclaimed without knowing. I understood. Excuse me. I understood why Tay recommended this drink. I've never tasted a lemon tea this tart, sweet, and flavorful. They must have added something since it was red. I saw a carefully cut lemon slice in the cup. I'm glad you like it. Have a good time. So he started sipping the tea. I'm worried she won't be able to finish until it gets dark. Should I ask whether we can get this to go? Shinbi seemed to like the drink she ordered. Yeah, I should ask for to go too. I peered around to see what else they sold. I saw just in time a couple eat a couple eating a piece of cake right beside us. There was a cute looking piece of carrot cake on the table. So cute. I was reminded of the family back home at seeing the carrot on top of the cake. I suddenly imagined Yunho's happy face after getting a sweet piece of cake, and I also imagine Red who will look determined to seize the cake. Then a few seconds later Lance will come in frowning, and thank him not to spill crumbs. I smiled at imagining all the things that could happen with just a piece of cake. Soe and Shinbi gave me a quizzical look at seeing me like that. I ignored their looks and sipped my lemon tea again. This has become my daily life now. We chatted for about an hour like that in the cafe. Soon after taking several selfies, Zoe started to doze off, and Zoe drank with a satisfied look. Look at the sunset already. It was getting pretty late. Ugh, such a nice cafe, and... <sighs> Zoe didn't finish and yawned. The team must really be effective. Making hyper Zoe feel happy. They wrapped it up pretty well, too. Shinbi must have liked it a lot, too. Mine, too! I had a banjool to go cup in my hands. There's carrot cake, there are tea leaves for secret garden, there is candied lemon tea. Okay. Well, the candied lemon tea would be for Tay. Tea leaves, I'm not sure who that would be for, other than maybe Lance? Maybe? Carrot cake would probably be for Yunho. So. Carrot cake? If it gets dark, there should be more people here. I look around the streets. This must be the time when all the kids come out to the main street after finishing their club activities. Be careful, I have to go this way. I waved to Zoe and Shinbi. Yeah, you too. Zoe didn't even say bye and was leaned against Shinbi's shoulder half asleep. Good night, Zoe. <sighs> now let's go home. I hope the boys like what I brought from the cafe. When I looked at the menu while they wrapped to the left my leftovers, I was reminded of my family back home. A piece of cute carrot cake for Yunho, a cup of sweet tart lemon tea for Lance. Oh, okay. The chocolate cookie reminded me of Red, and the best-selling cup of tea reminded me of Yuri. Like this, I often think of my family. It's like when Grandpa was alive. When he was with me, I used to be reminded of him whenever I saw sweet snacks and bought it for him. Oh, come to think of it, Grandpa loved sweet snacks. Did I forget? Oh, we're in a different setting. Grandpa, it's not good if you eat too many sweets. Should I get something plainer next time? I really want you to live a long, healthy life. Uh, I stopped walking. I always hoped my grandpa would live a long, long life. But in the end, he left me when I didn't expect it. It flew by so fast. It only takes a second for people to leave you. Huh? Those boys can turn back into dolls any moment now. I fiercely shook my head just thinking about the worst situation. I don't want to think about it. That won't happen. I'm scared. Let's think no more. Let's not think any more of it. 
It really scares me. Got you. I felt a hand grabbing my shoulder and heard a familiar voice. Seeing his face, I felt like suddenly crying. The smile that always comforted me permeated into my heart. Aw, it's Tay! <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Ugh, I just finished working. Did you have fun today? Tay caught his breath and looked carefully at my face. Are you okay? Did something happen? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. I stopped thinking and smiled at him. What I was thinking just now, just until now, is a secret. I especially don't want to tell Tay and the rest of the family. Ouch. Okay. Let's go in together. We have to walk for quite a bit. Okay. I'm glad Tay came. I felt so relieved to see him. I was thankful he appeared just at the right time. It's best not to think about someone disappearing from my side for a while, since I get overwhelmed from worrying about these happy days continuing on. Tay and I talked during our way back home and arrived at the house before we knew it. Master! Yunho came running towards me as soon as I opened the door. <laughs> you really are like a puppy. Tay smiled at Yunho. I'll go and wash first. Okay. After Tay left to the bathroom, Yunho looked at me with his glistening eyes. Master, what is this? Yunho pointed at the cake in my right hand. Oh, this is for you. Here. What? Really? Yunho looked surprised. I handed Yunho the cake box. His hands trembled a bit. C can I open this right now? Sure. Yunho carefully opened the box. As soon as the tiny box opened, the sweet scent spread into the air. Whoa! Wow! It smells like carrots! And there really is a tiny carrot on top! Yunho's reaction never disappoints me. He couldn't take his eyes off the cake. I feel good for buying it for him. Do I really deserve to eat this? It'd be better for Master to. Yunho rolled his big eyes around and asked. No, I'm full. You eat it. M master untouched. It's nothing. I was just taking care of my family. If it's good, I'll buy it for you again. Can I really take this? I've done nothing for you. No way, you wake me up every morning. You even cooked fried eggs for me. Th that's my duty for my master. He was so adorable the way he yelled carefully as not to damage the cake. Among all the dolls, Yunho was the one that followed me most like a true doll. Yep, and this is your duty too. I stroked his hair and said, Master, thank you. He even started to cry a bit. Dear God, am I making you cry again? D don't cry. I'm happy that you're so happy about this little thing. Okay, I guess I had to click again. Ah, I stretched out my arms. Now that I've finished dinner, I should write in my diary. A lot of things happened today, so I should think through first. I opened my diary. While wondering what I should write first, I thought of Banjul. I pictured Tay, that waiter, Zeon, and the manager, Hobbin, all in their uniforms, and the family members I got closer to after giving them the gifts from the cafe. After thinking about the boys, I got curious about something. I think of the dolls as my family, but do they think the same of me? Oh. After asking that question, the worrying thought I had earlier crossed my mind again. I quickly shook my head. No! No! No way, they are turning back into dolls. At least... not yet. I don't want to lose this precious daily life. Now that I've finished writing in my diary, I should get to bed. I plop down on the bed and turn off the lights. What will happen tomorrow? I close my eyes, looking forward to the next day. Oh! We're going through these chapters rather quickly. Um... Um... Save here, I guess. Cat named John. Okay. <sighs> All right, well, I think I'm going to end it here for now. We went through an entire chapter. I don't know how that happened, but we did. I guess this is rather fast-paced and very different compared to Dandelion. I was thinking that it would have a very similar setup where you just have to go through rooms and such, but it really is more visual novel based than that was. Hmm. Hopefully I'm doing everything correctly though, because uh, I'm trying to, to get with Yunho, though I think saving Yunho would have been a better choice than just volunteering, but uh, I don't know. We'll see how it all ends, out, ends up. Anyway, see you in the next one!
Later.